Hey guys, um, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So I've been going back and forth on how I want to like do this video. Like should I just make it kind of like a day in the life or should I do a sit down video? And I think I'm going to do a sit down video and just kind of do like a story time with you guys because so much has happened since we went on vacation to Florida and it was like the worst timing of it um, vlogging wise because I just wasn't vlogging as much on vacation and then major life changes happened and so I didn't necessarily get to like document it all. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna <laughs> sit down in front of a camera. My kids are taking naps right now. So it's like the perfect opportunity and I'm just gonna like do a story time and tell you guys how everything unraveled. So if you don't already know what this video is gonna be about, maybe these boxes in the corner will tell you what I'm gonna be talking about. Basically, we found a house. Crazy, after basically almost two, a little less than two years, um, it's like a month or two less than two years, we, uh, finally found a house. So I'm gonna do a story time and tell you guys how everything came to be. So sorry this isn't gonna be like a super exciting video, but it is exciting because I'm gonna tell you how we got our house. So I have to rewind it back. We went to Florida like the second week of June. It was like the day after my birthday. Um, we had put in an offer on a house. Okay, sorry, Anthony came down to talk to me, so I got distracted. Where was I? Okay, so we were in Florida, and um, it was just after my birthday, we were in Florida. That's right, I was talking to you about, we put an offer in on a house. We went very aggressive with it. We were offering everything left and right um, for this house because we really wanted it, we wanted it to be done. There were some negatives to the house. It was near a busy street. It was on like the edge of the neighborhood. The backyard wasn't super big. It had a big side yard to, though. So, uh, and the basement wasn't finished. So it was like, eh, but like kitchen was really awesome. The house was like almost brand new. It was a really nice builder who built it. So we really, really wanted the house. And then we found out that we lost by like a thousand dollars because someone was willing to go up like 20,000 over what we said we would go up to. So I was really sad when we lost that house just because I was feeling so defeated. I was like crying to Anthony that night. We were like um, in the vacation house. I was just crying to him like, I just wanna be done. I'm just so over this. And I was just so sad. So anyway, we were sad about the house and we were in Florida, so we couldn't really go look at new houses. Um, but then like after the weekend had ended, usually after the weekend happens, all the houses that were for sale come off and go contingent because they've all had offers. But what we've seen lately is that the market is changing, especially for homes in the higher price range, 600, 500 around there houses are changing whereas they're not going as quick as they used to and some of them just stay on the market um and sometimes people even have to like drop the price so after the weekend happened i think it was like on tuesday we saw there was like four houses that were still on the market that were kind of above our price range but we thought maybe if they um we're not getting any offers, maybe we could offer less, whatever. So we texted our agent and asked like, hey, we wanna see these houses. Obviously we're not in Ohio, we're in Florida. Could you go see these houses and FaceTime us? So it's like we're going to see them um, because like maybe this is something we need to jump on now. So we got it all set up. We went and saw two houses the first day and two houses the second day. So the first day we saw two houses which are in the same city we're in now. And one of them was super big and huge, uh, a little more expensive uh, than the other one, but it was like there were ants crawling around on the ground. Um, a lot of the house was just like not nicely updated. It looks like it just looked old and yeah, not updated. So we weren't really crazy about that house. Oh, also like the backyard like backed up to the middle school. So you could like see the middle school and like the playground and just sounded like it would be um, loud during the school year. So we weren't crazy about that house. Then we saw another house that was in that same city 
and we actually really liked it. It um, was a little more expensive than what we were looking in, um, but it was beautiful. Um, they updated the kitchen, they redid the flooring. Um, it had like a two-story living room, which I loved. Um, the house just looked like it was really well maintained. It was a corner lot, um, had a wooded like backyard, so you only have like one neighbor on the side and then you can't see anyone behind you because there's like trees blocking them. And we really liked that house. So um, we thought about it, we hung up with our uh, realtor and we thought about it. Um, we still had two more houses to see the next day, but we were thinking about it, thinking about it like, hmm, maybe we should make an offer on this house before we see these other two and just, you know, we'll go see the other two still, but maybe we should make an offer before somebody else does. And we were very hesitant to do so because we had not seen it in person, we just saw it through a phone, which is very hard to see through a phone with a realtor, especially like you don't get to see the views that you want, you don't get to like smell the house, you don't get to feel the flooring, the carpet, it's, it's just not the same. You don't get to drive to the house, get a feel of the neighborhood, the neighbors. So we were like, I don't know, should we put an offer and should we not? We were talking to my parents and they had seen the house too and they were like, we think this is a really good uh, opportunity for you and you should put a, a an offer in. So you're like, okay, what do we have to lose? So we put an offer in and actually asked like 10,000 under asking price because no one else was offering on it, which is crazy in this market. Like ever since then, we've been putting offers like 50,000 over asking price. So this was like a total 180. So we put the offer in and didn't hear anything. The next day came, we were still waiting to hear from that house. We went and saw two other houses in, the, in a different city, still in Columbus, but just a different city. And um, they were okay. The one was like super duper expensive, but it was like wood trim everywhere. It just looked old. And the final thing that just totally put me off from the house was that it had the laundry in the basement. And I was like, why am I paying? Like the house was like almost $600,000. And I was like, I'm not gonna pay that amount of money for a house that has laundry in the basement. Nope, love the location though, but no. So we said no to that house. And then we went and saw the next house and it was okay. It had a lot of wood trim. It was big. Um, it was okay. Like it, it would be okay, but I think they had it priced too high. Like we would have offered like way below. Um, after we saw those two houses, we were still liking the other one that we had put an offer in. And then we heard that day from our realtor that they had counter offered and wanted um, full, just asking price for the house. And they wanted to have possession of the house longer than what we wanted. And so we had to talk about it and we were like, you know what, to get a house at asking price in this crazy market is honestly pretty impressive and this is basically like if we say yes like we get the house and then this whole nightmare is over and we can just be done looking um so we were just like you know what let's just do it so we agreed to their terms we did asking price which is only ten thousand more than what we originally offered because we were trying to get it lower but didn't work and then we wanted to be in the house like beginning of july they want the house until the end of july so they just want it for a month which is fine so we agreed to terms and we got in contract on a house so so crazy um it all happened like we lost the one house and we were sad and then like two days later we got into contract on this other house and this is the city that i've always wanted to live in but never thought we could afford it because the market has been so crazy um the schools are awesome we're familiar with the area because we live there now it is about like 15 minutes away from where we live now um so it is kind of a different section of the city but um I'm just, I'm so happy, I'm so in love with it. So we got into contract and then all the craziness begins. If you've ever bought a house, you know what I'm talking about. You get in touch with your lender and they're asking you for a million documents to get all their things to start. We had an, we are having a expedited closing. So instead of doing, instead of closing in a month, we're closing in like 15 days. Um, because we already got like a fully underwritten pre-approval when we went through the pre-approval process. So like a lot of the, um, a lot of the process with the lender was already done. So it's been a little crazy. We're trying to get all our ducks in a row. Um, we were like, 
getting all of this, um, you know, money figured out and the home insurance and everything else, and we still hadn't even seen the house. So we got in contract, like I think it was on a Wednesday, and then we didn't end up going to see the house and actually walk through it ourselves until Sunday. So it was a long time. Um, and so we went to the house on Sunday and we loved it. We were worried because it was a different floor plan than anything we had seen before, so we just didn't know how it was gonna feel, but it was awesome. The house is just so well maintained. It was built in 1998, so you just never know with those kind of houses, but it's beautiful, white trim. Um, it does have wood floors, but they're beautiful. It has a little, like the banister on the steps. I think is wood but most of it is white which I love the kitchen like I said had been newly updated renovated um, beautiful countertops white tile subway tile backsplash they have like lights underneath all the cabinets in the kitchen which is just beautiful long cabinets like lots of cabinet space lots of counter space like a little island in the middle it is so so beautiful um, the house had been newly painted so that was awesome. The bedroom is, is um, it's just all just great. It's a four bedroom, four bath house. It's about 3,000 square feet. I think without the basement, it's like 2,400 square feet, but with the basement, it's like 3,000. So yeah, bigger than our house. Our house right now is 2,100 square feet. So definitely an upgrade and it's just beautiful. It is... Um, a corner lot, like I said, um, the backyard's great, no HOA, so we can put anything um, within reason in our uh, backyard, so we could do a playset for the boys, we could do a shed if we wanted, um, it's just awesome. Of course, with any house, there are downsides to it, so this house only has a two-car car garage, I was hoping for a two-car plus an additional space or a three-car garage, this does not have it. I'll have to show you and do like an empty house tour. The main master bedroom is completely open to the master bathroom. Like there's no door cutting it off. So that's gonna take some getting used to. The master closet is tiny. That's not the best. The bedrooms upstairs are a little small. Um, the backyard could be bigger. I think our backyard is a little bit bigger, but we do get that side yard. So I think it kind of makes up for that so good and bad but for the most part like this is a total upgrade than, from what we have now so it's just been so awesome we are so excited so we went and saw it we felt good about it the very next day we had the inspection it was like you can only do inspections for like five days after you close and that was like the fifth and final day we could do an inspection so we got it on the last day it worked out perfectly because it was on uh, Juneteenth and so Anthony had it off of work he wasn't even able to come to our inspection for this current house so for him to be able to come to the, the inspection on the new house was new to him and I was so glad he came my dad came he has built like three houses and just very knowledgeable with houses and builds and just different things so he was a wealth of knowledge and then we had a really good inspector and he let us he showed us different things about the house and honestly you guys the house is just like perfect condition there are little things here and there um like there's a little bit of wood rot that we have to fix um one of the they have sprinklers like that's crazy one of the sprinklers like isn't um like blowing water at full go like it's clogged um the master shower I think leaks a little bit but it's like there is like hardly anything like when we bought this current house we had a, like a back a page that was filled out front and back of all the things that needed to be done on that house this one I have like five or seven bullet points of things that we could do but don't need to do I mean these people have put so much effort and love into this house this new house that we're getting and it is just amazing like you can tell they really cared about this house um i found them on facebook i don't know if you're allowed to do that um, but we've had no contact with them we just contact through our realtor and their realtor um but they're an older couple they are moving to florida so they're not even staying in ohio and they've been very nice we've been asking them just different questions like tell us about the neighbors you know who fixes the sidewalks we couldn't get one of the lights to work like just what is this box on the wall just very simple things and they've been very um, responsive and answering all their all our questions they said they're gonna leave us all the manuals they have 
of um, all the appliances and things. All the appliances are brand new. Um, they got all of them in 2018 and then the dishwasher was 2020, I think. And then the AC and the furnace unit, they just replaced March of this year, which is amazing. It's just, it's meant to be. And to top it all off, they gave us a list of items that they were willing to sell to us that they have in the house now for very cheap. So like they had a pool table in the house, they're selling that to us for like $250, which is a steal. So we bought a lot of furniture from them. Anthony is very excited about the pool table. Um, but yeah, we bought a, a few things. So we're very excited about that. A new dining room table that they had bought that we bought from them so it's perfect we are so so excited about this house like I said the inspection went great and we have no concerns and so now like that was our last like way to pull out of the house if we didn't want it we could always find something simple on the inspection but we are in it we are in it for the long haul now so they took our deposit down um, to hold it so that we don't like back out or anything and yeah, basically the house is ours almost. We still have to close. We just got all the money figured out. I have to buy home insurance um, and send that on. But other than that, like everything has been going smoothly. It's been a little stressful because we are expediting it because instead of a month to close, we're doing like two weeks to close. So it is a little crazy, but we're getting it all worked out. So yeah, as of, today is Thursday and we close on the house a week from tomorrow. So we are in crunch time right now. So with us buying a house and closing on a house, that means we need to sell this current house. We do not wanna pay two mortgages. No, we just don't wanna do that. So basically we are turning around and trying to sell this house as fast as we can. The housing market is still hot for the price that we're gonna sell this house for, but it is changing by the day. So we need to get this house up and we need to get up fast. So it actually works out perfectly. We are actually going on another vacation. So we went on summer vacation with my family to Florida. Now we're gonna go on vacation with Anthony's family. We're gonna go down to Georgia to go visit his grandparents. They live down there and just stay with them for a week. So it actually works out perfectly that we are gonna put the house up the week that we are gone to Georgia. Just, I don't know how it happened, but the timing worked out perfectly. So we're trying and pushing to get everything done and fixed and ready to go and staged and cleaned and everything by the time we leave for this Georgia vacation. So like I said, and <laughs> make things crazy, we close on July 1st, next Friday, and we leave that night for Georgia. We're gonna like drive through the night because we have the kids and it's just gonna be, it's not gonna be fun. But it's like we close, we leave for Georgia, we put our house on the market. Like it's just boom, 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 boom. It's just crazy. Anthony and I are exhausted. We stay up to like 2 a.m. every night. Anthony's still working on the bathroom. I'll have to like give you guys an updated view of it. I'll do that in the next vlog. He's almost done. He's laying tile now. I've been working on packing everything up and then I'm gonna start cleaning. Um, we do have a cleaning company that is gonna come and like deep clean our house. They have like a steam cleaner that they're gonna bring to, which is awesome for our carpets because our carpets are old and need to be replaced, honestly. Um, so they're gonna come and clean the house while we're gone in Georgia. They're gonna come take updated pictures of our house because hello, we painted the whole thing and Anthony redid the bathroom. And then they're gonna get the pictures up and put the house on the market and we're just gonna be in Georgia. And then hopefully by the time we get back, somebody will have bought our house or at least it'll be contingent. So we're super excited. We're um, hoping that it goes above asking price. Um, our realtor seems to think that it will. We're selling at a really good price, higher than what Anthony and I thought we were gonna sell it at, <clears throat> but our realtor seems pretty confident. Sorry, I needed a drink, like I was so thirsty talking to you guys. Um, sorry, this is a long video, but anyway. Needless to say, we've got it all worked out. Hopefully our house is contingent by the time we come back. And then of course they have to do in the inspection on our house, which there's gonna be a lot wrong with it, but hopefully, you know, the people will just be okay with it. We are um, boxing things up. We're trying to get the house as least cluttered as we can um, to be able to stage it and have it look as big as it can have the cabinets look huge by having nothing in them, have the rooms look huge by having not as much furniture in them. We're storing all this stuff at my parents' house, which live, and they live like five minutes down the road, so it's so nice. 
Um, so we're gonna get all this stuff out of the house and then anything like last minute we'll probably just store either in the basement or we will store in the garage. <clears throat> We are selling things on Facebook Marketplace to try to get rid of some bigger items or things that we just don't use. We are um, putting things in the dumpster, calling bulk pickup, having them pick up stuff we've gotten rid of, an old vacuum, our high chair, which is like so sad. We got rid of our high chair um, because I hate that high chair. And uh, when we have another baby, I just want a new one. So we got rid of it. Porter refuses to get in it anymore. He likes to be in a big boy chair. So we got rid of that. Um, an old TV that like we don't even use. Um, our coat rack, my brother is gonna take a bookshelf, our old stroller, because we have the double stroller now and the wagon. I don't really need a single stroller. I still have my single umbrella st stroller that I use, so we're getting rid of that. It's just like, we're trying to get everything out of this house that we can. So it's a little crazy, but it's very exciting. Like I said, we close on our, ho our new house July 1st, and then we'll get possession of it July 31st or earlier. The people did say if they get out of the house earlier than July 31st, they will give it to us, um, but they just don't know how long it's gonna take them to move to Florida. Worst comes to worst, we get possession of it July 31st, and then we'll put our house up on the market like second weekend of July is what we're shooting for. Since it's a seller's market, we can request to have the house as long as we want, hence why we're waiting until the end of July for these people to get out of our new house. So I'm gonna try and put it that we have possession of the house until the end of August to just give us, like that gives us a month to like move everything. Um, so we could do like kind of a slower move. Um, a lot of my family members are out of town like that 31st and like the 1st of August um, but they come back like the second week so maybe we wait a little more into August to move everything so I think that's what we're gonna shoot for it's all working out um, all in good timing um, it was hard to see like what the plan was you know months and months and months of looking but everything just seems to be falling into place perfectly so we're feeling really good about it we're so excited for this new house i keep telling the boys you know we're moving to a, a new house and they really don't understand um, but gray is excited um, i'm sure it'll be hard to adjust at first but it's all for the good um, we're gonna love it we're gonna love it. it's a nicer neighborhood um, it'll be fun to meet new people, better schools for Gray. Um, it's perfect that it doesn't matter that we're moving like towards the end of summer because we already have Gray enrolled in preschool and this new house is actually closer to his preschool. So we don't have to worry about like being there in time for his school to begin and everything. And then, um, yeah, just honestly, it's just working out perfectly. So I'm so happy to say that after <laughs> I think, um, I think we had to end up putting in, I was counting it myself, we had to put in eight offers on eight different houses. And finally, offer number eight, we finally got our house. <laughs> two, almost two years and eight offers later, we got a house. So, wow, so crazy. It's been such a journey. So glad that we're coming to the end of it. The light is at the end of the tunnel and I'm just so ready to be done. Now comes the hard part of staging our house and then packing our house and moving and unpacking. And I'm not looking forward to all that, but I'll be so happy once we're in our new house. Anthony and I have been sacrificing our evenings and working on this house to get it ready to sell since mid-April. It was like right after Gray's birthday. And so um, what we're in June now, it'll be July soon because today's like June 23rd. Um, so yeah, it's been like two, almost three months of us sacrificing every night um, of just like relaxing time to work on this house. And so it'll be so nice to get to this new house and have our evenings back. Not have anything pressing, but like if we want to do updates to the house, projects in the house, we can, but it's not like necessary and that just makes me feel so happy. So I think we're gonna be very happy in this house. Um, I think we'll stay there for, you know, five to seven years and then we'll see where life takes us at that point. But we're feeling really good about it all and we're excited, we're exhausted. Like I said, we're staying up until like 2 a.m. every night, working, packing, working on the bathroom. Anthony's parents are coming this weekend. His dad has built several houses himself. And so we are so lucky that we have him to come and help us finish the 
bathroom, we want to put in some walls and shelves in the basement, and any odds and ends around the house um, that we can have him help, he will. So it's really awesome that we have him, and then we have my dad who's helped us on the finances side, on the inspections. He's so he's just a wealth of knowledge of homes and money. He's like our own personal financial advisor, which is just awesome. He's the CEO of his own company, so he's very knowledgeable, and he's built three houses himself. Well, he's designed three houses. He's not built it himself. He like hired a company, but like he's very knowledgeable that way too, so we just get it from both ends, which is just, we are so, so lucky. We had to have a little bit of money help from my parents um, just because we couldn't put our offer in contingent on this house selling. So it's just been, we just feel so lucky to be where we are right now. And it's just how everything is just working perfectly. Like, it feels so good. I've already had so much help from my mom, from my sisters who have come and helped me pack. Um, my mom's coming again tomorrow to help me pack and start cleaning. And my mom, like, um, lined up this whole cleaning company to come and clean our house and she like my siblings are gonna help while we're out of town like make sure the house is going well during the showing so we have so much help and it just feels oh, so exciting so we're exhausted but we're excited we're ready to be in our new house that's for sure but anyway I'm rambling I just wanted to give you an update a little story time we are in contract on a house we will be new homeowners one week from tomorrow barring that everything goes well which I'm Think it will so we are excited and we will take you along I can't wait to show you guys a empty house tour of the new house that will be coming soon so stay tuned um, and anything else we do maybe I'll sign like film some when we go to close on the house or I don't know I'm just very very excited I'll show you like how we stage this house how it looks um, for showings and um, yeah, I'll just keep you guys updated as we go through this process. But thank you so much for watching my video, for being a part of this two year long process. Um, if you are in the housing market search right now, like good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for and be patient. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be it from me. Um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.